to care for the whole person in community with others takes slowing down once or twice a day to evaluate just how well the individual has interacted with others. The examination of consciousness, or examine, is an ancient practice in the church that can help us see God's hand at work in our whole experience. Ignatius thought that the examine was a gift that came directly from God, and that God wanted it to be shared as widely as possible. The examine is a method, a way to seek and find God in all things, and to gain the freedom to let God's will be done on earth. In fact, one of the few rules of prayer that Ignatius made for his companions was the requirement that all its members practice the examine. Well, one of the things I think that is most helpful in trying to find God in, in lots of different situations is to use the examine. And I think if you come to that really prayerful place where you're into the habit of using the examine, then you'll be more aware of where God is present. As you review your day and look over your day, you think of the different activities and ask yourself the question, where is God in this? I think you'll find God. The examine begins with gratitude. And that tells us that for Ignatius, all of our actions are built on gratitude. All of uh, our actions should be on the foundation of gratitude. Ignatius of Loyola also said that to the very, very first Jesuits who were complaining about it being so busy. He said, then just go to three questions. What have I done for Christ? What ought I do for Christ? What will I do for Christ? It's like any relationship. If you are never attentive to the ways that your friend uh, is with you, you'll never really appreciate that friend. Um, the examination also encourages you to see where God is, uh, not simply where God has been. You know, it's often easy to see God in retrospect. Uh, that's just human nature. We're very busy. The examination slows us down and says, look, see where God has been in your day. Once you uh, get into a practice of seeing where God has been, it's much easier the next day to see where God is. And this notion of being able to start over is a wonderful thing, that you have a bad day, you reflect on it, and you move on. God meets you where you are. And so your, your spiritual house doesn't have to be all neat and clean for Jesus to enter, or for God to enter. And so this notion that, you know, well, God will meet me at some point in the future, you know, if I only, you know, make myself perfect, however that's going to happen, is false. God meets you where you are, basically, which is one of the reasons the examination of conscience is so important. How many times do you go to a retreat and you realize, my God, it's the examine again. Oh, great, it's the examine again, you know, and we pray it now at, at a lot of our schools during the day. We pray it here every day. And how has God been at work in my life, and how have I responded, and what does God want me to do now? And the Ignatian examine ends with a resolve for tomorrow. It's not looking back at the past and the end. It's looking to tomorrow and making decisions about how we'll act tomorrow. And what's in the middle is simply looking at the obstacles, the things that keep us from saying the yes that we want to say tomorrow.